Good day guys, even though it's actually raining, it's not really a good day But this is Nick and Helmi, so we are near Sydney Chinatown Yep, but we're gonna go there shortly to have some delicious street food This is like 2nd January, so there's a lot of shops are still closed And also they closed because pandemic But these places that we're gonna go are open that includes Taiwanese, Indonesian, Chinese, uh, Hong Kong, and of course my dream. So if you like to see part two, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, ring the bell notification, and also check out our Patreon. Let's go! First thing I'm looking at is the actual menu and insane. It's actually so much menu selection here compared to Hotstar where I think there's about 8 or 15 menu. Here they've got like, what the hell, they got takoyaki, they've got fried rice bowl with sesame, and fried green beans, they got a lot of stuff but we're gonna be here for the fried chicken cutlet here and I think they said the boneless cutlet is the best to order here. So we're gonna order that. I please take the meal. All right, so we are entering this season where it's raining in and out around Sydney. I think it's gonna stop very soon, but looks like it's gonna be a while. We're taking some shade in front of a restaurant, but this is what we got. The boneless chicken cutlet here. Now there's a couple of sauces and seasoning you can choose from there. We're going with something that they said they recommended, which is the salt and pepper seasoning. Ah, classic. They also said this is better than Hot Star and also from Taiwan, so I'm very keen. Taiwanese make great chicken cutlets, so here we go. Whoa. That is incredible. That I feel like that chicken has some kind of marinated sauce on it before they cook it. You can feel that that juiciness, like almost like a lamb sauce or something like that. I, I'm not too sure, but it's just like that really nice sweetness, natural sweetness from that juicy chicken. Unbelievable. And then the other layer is crispy, but the batter is actually thin. It's actually a lot thinner than Hot Star and it's infused so well with the chicken. Then you got that salt and pepper giving that nice spicy and peppery hit. Unbelievable, man. I have to say, so far, that one bite has just shattered every chicken cutlet that I've ever eaten in Taiwan. I think this is one of the best, so far. Oh. Oh. What do you think, better than Hot Star? Mm. Right? So good. Wow. I think two pack is better than Hot Star. If you guys try it, let us know, comment below. And next one is actually Indonesian restaurant. It's very hidden, not many people know, but some Indonesian know. It's inside this old number one Dixon shopping center. Let's go. And it's actually a warung, and it's called Warung Pojok because it's very hidden. Let me show you. The place is literally a hidden gem. It's kind of like underneath the escalators. It's not really spotted unless you actually go down here and really discover it. But this Warung Pojo has so much selection, right? The menu is insane. It's, it, it's, it's quite a lot of like childhood memories right here. They got some tricky balls, they got te bottle, and then we're gonna be ordering the meta noodles. And then also the bakso, bakso gepeng, which is like a combination of meatballs there. All right, the two staple things for an Indonesian noodle always is the chili and the ketchup manis, which is the sweet soya sauce. That's like our golden, you know, number yes. one sauce there. Whatever happens, if you if you got something too salty, just put this, right? Something too sweet, well, just put this too. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so here we've got the bakso gepeng here. So very simple dish. You got the soup. You got a lot of like the chopped green onions there, fried shallots, and then you've got the bakso halus here, which is just the beef itself. So, and then here we've got all the the tendon meatballs, and then the mixed beef and tendon meatballs here, and then the tofu meatball as well. So, it's just a platter of meatballs here. Of course, we gotta put a little bit of 
that chili, my favorite sauce. The ketchup manis. You can see how the ketchup manis is just turning the soup to that kind of brown color. I love this. I actually love things to be really, really sweet. All right, let's give the soup a go here. Salty, savory, you got that meaty broth there. And then you got a little bit of that uh, like ketchup minus makes it a little bit sweet too. Mm, the noodles is okay. Not the best though, to be honest, but I think if you were to order this dish, it's just gonna be purely for the basso for the meatball there. Then you have the basso gepeng here. Look at that. Because it's kind of flat there. Yeah, gepeng means flat. That's right. And of course. Oh yeah! Mm. It's just effortless to bite that. Beautiful. And finally, my favorite is the mixed basso here. Now that brings me back to Indonesia street food style basso right there. Love that. But you gotta obviously, always, as always, you gotta add the chili. So there are several bakmi, which is the noodles, but I opt for the Medan style. So the Medan style have the soy sauce uh, chicken, and then the soy sauce egg, and the crackling pork, and also char siu. And then they put some um, green onion and also fried shallots. But the hidden gem is actually the noodle here. There. So apparently this is homemade noodle. It's not, you know, uh, pre-packed from the supermarket. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> we normally have this for like breakfast, lunch, dinner, supper, by the street. And yes, we eat spicy stuff in the morning. You know, I was so happy because I just ate this golden treasure. It's so delicious. It's so fatty though, but it's so nice. And the noodle is like very springy. It's well cooked. It's not too soft or it's not too hard. So yeah, it's very good. But well, that's combination of char siu and also the soy chicken. Yeah, so good. But I think put more chili. Unless Nick wanna try this. <laughs> oh my god, it's so much chili. The chili is not spicy, so yeah. Okay, so now we are really thirsty and we're gonna take you to one of our favorite bubble tea shop in Sydney. This is actually the best non-bubble tea. So if you're someone like Nick who has the lactose intolerance and you love fruit tea, this is the one. Coco, and let me show you what to order. We present you the best non bubble tea. So, this one is called Bubble Gaga, it's basically green tea with passion fruit flavor and you have the mix of the bubble tea, the coconut jelly and also passion fruit seeds as well. This is like the best right Nick? Yes. Nick? It's yeah. so refreshing. So refreshing. One sip and you're like oh my god. Yes. So normally me and Nick we always buy one each because we never share. But today is different I guess. And of course you have to order 50% sugar and 50% ice. Trust me, because I've tried the full sugar. <sighs> Couldn't sleep at night. Oh. This is so good no matter what kind of weather, whether it's hot, it's cold, this one is the best. Mm. That is just so good. The best helmet, right? Yeah. The best. As soon as you enter Chinatown area, you'll see Emperor Garden Restaurant. So there are actually three places. One is the restaurant, the cream puff, which is very famous that you have to get it. 
and the third one is actually the bakery so it's like Chinese bakery and then have egg star which is like really cheap and we're gonna take you there let's go And also they have a lot of bread like sausage buns, peanut buns and also this one look at this gigantic vanilla cake for $3.50 and they have sponge cake, fortune cookies that sponge cake on the cup is really nice as well So we got the steam pork bun, this one is for $2.20 and we also got the egg tart of course for me which is $2.20 as well so it's super cheap and normally you have this one like for breakfast grab this one with some coffee, so good If you come in the morning, there's actually a lot more options we come around afternoon but the egg tart is still there so let's try this I'll never say no to egg tart. The pastry is so flaky and the custard is like so custardy and eggy but 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 I wish the middle part like the custard part is a lot more. This one is a bit dense maybe because it's been sitting there for a while so if you want to have the fresh one always come in the morning but it's pretty good egg tart. Yeah. This is the pork bun. So they got two options, this one or the chicken one. So we're gonna go classic and get the pork. Oh man, you can smell that sweetness. All right, let's get this to go. Mm. That's just a classic. That's a classic taste. Oh my God. I think I just ate it. Oh, oh my, my God. God. I ate the plastic. The paper. I ate the paper. Oh my god. I'm sure it's safe, right? I just ate the paper underneath. <laughs> oh my god. It's, I couldn't even tell it was that delicious. <laughs> the meat's nice and tender, gooey, and just kind of sweet as well. That's just really classic, all the taste. Really small cuts of pork meat inside. When you put everything together, it's really lovely. It's really, really nice. But don't eat the paper, guys. Do not eat the paper, okay? Continuing our journey through the alleyways of Chinatown behind me here is meat lovers for people who love meat like me and it's cash only of course we all know why and if I own a business I'm probably gonna be cash only too <laughs> alright let's go lots of options to choose from we're ordering two stuff which is one is the chicken cartilage and the other one is the ox beef tongue and both of them have I guess a lot of uh, chili seasoning there this is medium but kind of looks like it's gonna be very very spicy who knows but I think Chinese people love getting their hands on really spicy stuff right and we do too so this is actually like a soft bone chicken where you can actually eat the bones with the meat Chewy, very yeah. crunchy, very spicy as well. But feels a little bit dry though. It's not bad. Like that whole like spiciness and all the I think the cumin as well really fits in really really well. There's a lot of crunching, there's a lot of munching, and there's a lot of chewing. Flavor wise, spicy. Yeah, for medium spicy, it's quite spicy. I like after a while, it really sinks in, and you can really feel the heat. On to the next one which is ox tongue and do you know this upcoming Chinese New Year is actually ox year which is Nix year Nix is ox This is ox tongue, I'm eating Nix tongue <laughs> Oh! Oh, kinda chewy huh? Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Yeah, it's chewy I think we better stick with the lamb cumin, Nick. It's a bit too thick, so become chewy. Well, the seasoning is actually exactly the same. So it's like cumin and, you know, spicy powder. But yeah, it's chewy. 
Every restaurant that you go to, there's always a signature dish, that one dish that you've got to order, right? Here in this place, it's actually the signature lamb cumin. We didn't order that, we went in a completely different uh, direction and we tried something different. Uh, this one, the chicken cartilage, is good. Order that one, it's really crunchy and it's addictive, but I guess for uh, the ox tongue, I would probably not recommend that because it's kind of chewy, so unless you do like that kind of thick ox tongue, then you may like it, but we prefer the tin ox tongue, right tell me? If you want to see more Chinatown Eats, all those hidden gems and cheap eats, don't forget to like and also comment below. So maybe we can do a second episode. Alright, so don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell notification and we will see you next week. See ya!